Hi guys, Paul here, and this is going to be a quick rundown on using this liquid electrical tape solution. Now you can buy this from most electronic outlets. The first time I actually saw this being used was by Jerome, who's one of our Facebook friends, and he was using it on his security camera 2000, uh, just to protect it from moisture, etc. Now, I, with most of the aircraft that we've flown, I've never had an issue with moisture, but that's all changed quite significantly ever since we started using these mini quads. So what we're looking at here is Thomas's little mini quad and that is the security camera that we have installed there, the FPV camera. Now as you can see it's going to sit really low to this frame so you're probably talking about a centimeter off the ground so to speak. So there's not going to be much in the way of clearance as far as uh, the FPV camera goes and whatever surface you land on. So what you find is early mornings when you're flying if you land on grass it's got a little bit of moisture on it these props are still spinning and what it does is basically spray moisture all over your PV camera which obviously moisture and electronics don't really go together. So um, this is a good way of actually protecting your electronics and the application of it's really really simple and I'll show you exactly how I've gone about doing it. Okay so this is the typical FPV camera that we're using. This is one of the ones from Security Camera 2000. I'm just going to basically apply the solution to it and it's really quite simple. I normally start at the edges and it probably looks like I'm applying a lot of solution to this but what you're going to find is it'll actually shrink quite a significant amount so that there is pretty much all there is to it and this is pretty much ready to go. Now you'll find this will thin out quite significantly. I've got one that I've already done. So this is one I did a week or so ago. And as you can see, it's pretty much covered. It's thinned out quite significantly. Now you can apply a second coat if you like, if you think it needs it. But you just need to be careful with these FPV cameras because they do generate a little bit of heat. So you don't want to obviously insulate it and um, keep that heat, heat retained within the camera. So I find one coat is more than enough. If it does get a little bit of moisture on it, at least you know you're not going to short anything out. Now some people do use them on the flight controllers, so you just need to be aware that if you're running something like a um, flight controller that has a barometer on it, you just need to make sure that you don't um, cover that up, because if you do, that's not going to work very well at all. Anyway, look, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'll catch you guys later.